Welcome to Two Minutes with Chetan Henry. On today's podcast, I want to talk about tuning into God. So, each one of us, we are by birth created in a certain way. And as we grow up, we begin to wire ourselves in a certain way that we get tuned to certain things. For example, if you are a hairstylist, the moment you look at somebody's face, the first thing you will notice is how their hair is set. If you are a dentist, the first thing you will notice is how they smile and how their teeth or tooth is arranged. Um, so, we are all wired in a certain way. And that becomes our primary attention span in anything we do. And in any given day, there are 100 different things that are trying to grab our attention every minute, every hour, through social media, through so many things that are happening around the world. So how do we, in midst of all this, tune in ourselves to God? This I see more amazingly in the life of our Lord Jesus Christ because he's our ultimate example. The Lord Jesus, even though he had a massive famous ministry where thousands of people were getting healed, delivered, and the dead being raised, one thing he did when evening came, he drew away from the crowd of people and he went into solitude and he began to be with the Father in heaven. There, he began to establish his one-on-one, -on -one undivided attention and connection with the Father in heaven through prayer and his lifestyle of submitting to the Father in the secret place. And then next day he came back and he continued to minister to people. But he made sure he always took time away from the crowd and away from his disciples also. I wondered why he did that. And I really believe he was doing that to establish a firm attention and a DNA in him to give attention to the audience of one which was his father in heaven. And then he came back with that connection and he continued his ministry. Beloved child of God, what are you doing every day? How are you connecting to your father in heaven? You have to set apart some time to connect with him and then come back and do what you're called to do. But you have to have a set time for undivided attention. The other meaning for love is time. Another word for love is time. So I pray that you will establish this connection to tune in to God your Father who's calling us into intimacy. I believe you are blessed. If you are blessed, please comment and share this with somebody.